Africa has three small island nations in the Indian Ocean, Mauritius, Seychelles, and Comoros, where I am right now. I visited all three countries over the past three months, so I'd like to do a little compare and contrast because they easily get mixed together. While they're all beautiful tropical islands with green coconut trees and white sanded beaches, the culture and lifestyle of each country is quite different from one another. Let's begin with Mauritius. The wealthiest, biggest, most populated, and most westernized of the three is Mauritius. It has the biggest Indian influence, but most people have mixed ethnicities and religion. We are Mauritians! 48% practice Hinduism, 32% Christianity, and 17% Islam. Their language of Creole is a mix of French and local dialects. There's a word that you need to know when you speak Creole, it's Ayo. It's something we use for everything, you could say Ayo. Peso, it's hot. Mauritius is the only one built for tourism with skyscrapers and busy roads. And it also has stunning waterfalls. Let's move across the sea to Comoros. By far, the most laid-back African island nation is Comoros. It has a more East African Swahili vibe, but tied together with a strong presence of Islam, attracting 99% of the population. People here are quite religious, a lot more than I imagined. This is what we call kofia. Yeah, it's a traditional cup. Handsome. A lot of them on the streets are wearing this traditional outfit. I am finding Comorian people to be the most friendly and smiley, but they are the most shy in front of a camera. On a positive note, it is the cheapest of the bunch. This meal was $2. And finally, we end with the Seychelles. In my experience, the most expensive country, especially for tourists. Just to give you an idea, a 30 minute taxi ride from the airport to my budget hotel was 75 bucks. But despite the steep prices, the Seychelles does have the nicest beaches and for what it's worth, the tastiest coconuts. But for 30 rupees, I think I got ripped off. The capital city of Victoria is pretty boring, so try to get out to another island. It's been amazing visiting these three countries, and I hope this video helps you differentiate if you are planning a trip here. Please share all your thoughts, comments, and questions in the comments below. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.